Jiggy Cat on a damn fitness spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 rounds strong and be hanging like a centipede. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato, and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully, y'all guys are having a great weekend for today, and I hope everyone is staying safe from this recent outbreak of you know the coronavirus. So please stay healthy out there, guys. But for today's video, we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into um you know the topic, which is how to use PlayStation 2 codebreaker cheats for PS2 ISO slash spin games on your modded PlayStation 3. With that being stated all out the way, we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the prerequisites, and anything I'll state will be in the link in the description down below just like any of my other videos that includes download links uh useful guides and probably um once i have this video all edited out i will have a pinned comment with any of the you know useful links and guides since that's you know the easiest way for you guys to um, utilize these programs but first things first um you need a ps3 that has custom firmware on it um for today's video i will be using rebug 4.84 cfw um as well uh, as long as you have you know custom firmware you should be good um this is not particularly for hen and hfw users since that is going to be possibly for another video since they're um you know extra steps into that process but however this is just mainly for custom firmware users um as well you need multi-man or webman for this process today i'll be using multi-man uh for today's example but webman also works you need also any place issue to iso bin game so one thing i do want to state as of right now um uh, when you do dump your playstation 2 iso disc or get it from wherever online make sure you know the actual region to the game since that's going to play a vital role um for today's video but i'll get a little bit more into that once we get started on the pc side of things for today's example i'll be using kingdom hearts 2 since you know your guys i am a big uh, kingdom hearts fanatic you also need iso buster iml2 iso.exe cd dvd rom generator version 1.50 um some other prerequisites you need is either a usb stick that is formatted to fat 32 um but one thing i do want to know as of right now only games that is under four gigabytes can be transferred this way so if your ps2 title is larger than four gigabytes so for example if you're trying to do midnight club 3 double edition remix which is like seven gigabytes you need to um basically either use a ps2 iso splitter or use filezilla ftb client to transfer that full file over um as well the last prerequisite you'll need for today is filezilla ftb client or any ftb client if your game is larger in size more than four gigabytes but with that being all out the way we're just going to go to the pc and get started Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we're basically ready to go and get started on the PC side of things first. So actually, I'm going to delete this folder here so you guys can see on how to do this from the start. In the link in the description down below as well in my pinned comment, I will have a file link to this download which will be called ps2cheatbreaker.war. If you open this with winwar, which I also will have this in the link in the description down below, all you would need to do is just take this file and drag and drop it. To your desktop and then once you do that if you see from the actual war file right here i have all of the files that i stated you need in the prerequisites in here so instead of just downloading multiple links i have everything basically in an all-in-one package so it's just easier for us to work in this format so once you have ps2 cheat breaker on your desktop what we're going to be doing is focusing on our game of choice so for today's example like i stated in the prerequisites we're going to be using kingdom hearts 2 in my case and one thing i do want to state now is very important to also know the content id of your game and i'm going to be showing you guys if you're um you know wherever you downloaded it from or if you dumped it from your ps3 or something like that and it didn't generate your content id on how to basically find your game's content id uh since we're going to be needing that later and as well it's very important to know what game region um your game is from so for example i know that uh this kingdom hearts 2 dump is the us version so if your thing says slus or slus it's usa um if it's slus if i could talk today is the european version of the game or if it's slpm it's the japanese version and with that being you know stated right here if you could you know pause the video right here and understand like the regions of your games then basically you're good most ps3 or excuse me ps2 games are formatted in this uh sense via the content id but once you know you have your game of choice irregardless if it doesn't have the content id or if you don't know your region what you need to do is go ahead into the ps2 cheat breaker go into iso buster 3.90 and then you could go ahead and install uh iso buster as a exe i already did this step right here so i'm just going to go ahead and skip it but once you have iso buster installed 
in my case i'm just going to go ahead and launch the app here and then once iso buster is installed you should see this um little screen via right here what you want to do as of right now is the goal is to load this kingdom hearts 2 game into um iso buster so all you would have to do in this case is go open up file open image file and then where it says uh wherever your game is located at in my case i have mine on my desktop all i have to do is open it up and then if i go hover over the track of the game or basically click on the red one that says iso you should see all of your contents of you know the actual or what's basically packed into the iso so this is kingdom hearts 2 itself so in my case what i'm going to do is create a new folder on my desktop and you can do this as well for whatever game since my game is kingdom hearts 2 i'm just going to name it kingdom hearts 2 and i'm just going to drag and drop all of my data into one directory if you get this little friendly warning error just go ahead and hit continue and now depending on how large your game is this can take a while for it to transfer over so what i'm going to do now is basically um just wait for it to do its thing and then once it's fully done i'll you know proceed on today's tutorial Alrighty, so as of right now, all of my data has successfully transferred over to my Kingdom Hearts 2 folder. So what I'm going to do is have it side by side real quick so you know, we could compare this. So this is what I recommend y'all guys doing as well. As you see here, we have 15 folders and um, basically that was loaded up in ISO Buster. So whatever folders or how many objects or files you have into one directory, it should be the same onto the extracted file or basically the extracted folder where you have basically all of your um, data for your PlayStation 2 game. So in my case, everything looks like it's matching up the same here. So what I'm going to do now is just minimize minimize our ISO buster as of right now and then one thing what we want to check which is not optional but this is something I like to do is check for the actual file size so you can see here that my ISO image is 3.69 gigabytes and you can see that Kingdom Hearts 2 right now is 3.67 gigabytes your games may not be exact size due to you know compression reasons and may have like dummy files in the actual ISO itself as long as your are basically your guys games are relatively the exact size or you know the same size and maybe like missing two or three megabytes or however much that means you're basically good to go so what we want to do as of right now once you check your file sizes to compare from the actual original iso and the you know extracted folder what we want to do is go back into ps2 cheat breaker and now what we're going to focus on is code breaker version 10 files um this folder right here what we want to do is take all of our files here so you can highlight it either by hitting ctrl a on your keyboard or you could uh highlight the files with your mouse and then right click and copy and then what we're going to do once we get out of codebreaker version 10 files go back to wherever you have your game extracted at so i'm going back to my kingdom hearts 2 folder and then all you got to do is paste and if you get this a uh, message saying the destination already has a file called system.cnf that's okay you could rewrite it over since basically we're replacing the uh, original with the code breaker files right here so once you have that done um the next step what we need to do is find our game's content id so your game's content id may be different from mine's um i already know that my game's content id is slus underscore 21005 so let me go back to my notepad right here as i stated before if you're doing like a european game yours may say sles and you know various numbers yours may if you're playing a japanese ps2 game and you're trying to add cheats that way um it may be slpm but it's very important to know your region so i already know um the usual file for this will be slus21005 and if i do a quick google search with this file right here and let me you know go over here real quick and actually look for the file content id you can see that it's going to be kingdom hearts 2 so that's another way on how to check if your content id corresponds with your game if you do like a quick google search but assuming that you guys know how to you know find your content id identify it what we want to do is take this content id file and then rename it and then you want to name it in all caps dot elf and this is going to be an ex executable file so basically on the playstation 3 itself once we you know 
don't get to that process what we're going to do is run the codebreaker.l file which is going to allow us to apply cheats and then this file right here is the executable file to load up the actual game and if that doesn't make sense i'll make sure it makes sense later on in the video but now that you have all your code breaker stuff as well as your content id named with um dot elf for the executable what we need to do now is close out of this folder i'm gonna close out my little notepad right here and then the next step what we need to do is go into ps2 cheat breaker and now what we need to do is go into cd dvd rom generator version 1.50 so right now what you want to do in this file is open up cdv or excuse me cd dvd gen exe and then you'll get this folder right or this program right here all you would have to do where it says create a new project just hit okay and now this is a step that we need to talk about other right now so there's two options that you need to focus on so if your playstation 2 game is under one gigabyte or basically under 700 150 megabytes so a very small game you want to go ahead and select your project as cd-rom master disk if your game is over one gigabyte in size is basically like two or three four gigabytes like kingdom hearts is for example this is three gigabytes you have to set it as dvd-rom master disk so in my case since kingdom hearts is three gigabytes um you have to set it as dvd or rom so once again just hit okay and now what we need to do is open back up the kingdom hearts 2 folder and there's a little bug with this actual program itself on what you need to do as of right now is transfer over each folder individually instead of basically just hitting control a and transferring over since um the files will get mixed up so what you need to do as of right now once you have your folder on your side so let's see if i could um put it side by side real quick to show you guys on what to do all you would need to do is transfer each file over you know um basically to this directory here so that's what i'm going to do right now and i do apologize for this but i am showing you guys on how to properly do this so i'm going to try to do this as quickly as can or as i can but it's very important that all your files are into like the exact same uh you know file format or you know in chronological order as it is on your windows file directory so once i'm basically done moving all my files over and depending on how many uh, files you may have it may take longer or less uh, but once all your files is transferred over um, we're basically good to go if your code breaker name and as well as the content id name looks messed up that is totally fine i guess that's just a bug with this program as well but the next step once you have all your files transfer over to the directory format what you need to do is go into volume and now this is some important information that we got to fill out here first things first uh, we need to get our disk name which is the content id i already showed you guys on how to figure out your content id so i already know the mines is slus so make sure it's in all capital letters too so slus and what you want to do is copy uh the number set to this but leave like the little point or dot out so in my case it's 21005 and this is the official content id of kingdom hearts 2. as i stated before you could just go on google look it up and then voila find your um content id that way your producer name will always be a uh, playstation so that's all you have to do here and then as well your license area you need to select what region your game is so that's why i told you it was important since we know that slus is america um that's what you want to set yours to if i was playing the european version of kingdom hearts 2 would set it to uh, this one if i was playing the japanese like final mix then i could play that one as well and just list it as ja japan so what we need to do now is go to um file go into uh export iml file and then what we need to do as of right now and just save this to our desktop or you could actually create a new folder so what i'm going to do is create a new folder i'm going to call it test and then inside that folder i'm just going to have my iml file so that's what i'm doing here or actually you have to name it first so i'm just going to call mine's uh cage 2 save and then once i uh, minimize this out and go back to here in my test folder or wherever you saved your um, iml file at what you want to do is have it onto your desktop as of right now so once you see your iml file the next step what we need to do is go into ps2 cheat breaker and then what we want to do is run the iml uh, to iso folder then 
right here what we're going to do is open up cdvd iml to iso and then you'll get the screen right here let me go ahead and mute my uh speakers right now because once um basically it converts from an iml file to a dot iso um it will make a uh, like a success uh, like noise actually you could just turn it off here as well but what we're going to do is open up the actual file we're going to find where our iml file is located at so i have mine's on my desktop and i put it in my test folder here you can see that i have my kingdom hearts iml all you got to do is open and then all you would have to do as of right now is go to iml to iso and then from here just let it do its thing um depending on how large your game is it may take a while so what i'm going to do is cut the video here once it's fully done i'll show you where your file should be located it should be in your test folder and then this is the actual folder that's going to have um your game with basically embedded with the actual code breaker cheats in it so i'll meet you guys back once it's fully finished Alrighty, so as showcased here, you can see that I have my ISO finish and it's basically done. The only reason why you see an error on the screen is because I turned off the sound, but all I have to do is hit OK. I'm going to close out um, IML to ISO version 4.03. And then once it's fully done, if I go into my test folder right here, um, you can see that I have my Kingdom Hearts 2 ISO packed. So all we have to do as of right now, you can either rename the file, but just for testing purposes, I'm just going to leave it as Kingdom Hearts 2.iso. And you can notice it has the same size or basically it doesn't have the same size as the um, actual original ISO since we built it from the actual folder here. So as of right now, what you can do is either plug in a USB to your P or excuse me to your PC, make sure it's FAT32 and it's just drag and drop you know your file over onto the root of your, your device but for today i'm going to be using files of the ftb client to transfer this over so as of right now i'm going to go to my playstation 3 and show you guys the next steps on what we need to do for this case Alrighty, guys assuming that you're on the playstation 3 as of right now what we need to do is go ahead and get started on transferring over our file of choice so what we need to do as of right now i'm already assuming that you either have multi-man or webman installed onto your device if you don't either have multi-man or webman installed i will basically have both of those pkg files in a link in the description down below all you need to do um just a quick one now is just take a fat 32 usb put both files onto the root of your usb then just come over the package manager installer install package files go into standard of course i don't have my usb into my ps3 but the packages should be in here if you guys already know how to install packages um that's fine i was just trying to give a quick rundown for people who you know may not know that step but once you already have multi-man or either webman installed onto your device all you got to do is just run into the actual application and just boot it up and then one thing I should state uh, as of right now, make sure your Wi-Fi is on. Since we're gonna be transferring over our file via the Wi-Fi, I'm just using my ethernet cable on my uh, development unit right now. So let me go to here. As showcased here at the lower hand, basically, or left hand lower down on the screen, you can see my PlayStation 3 IP address, which is 1112. And all we need to do now is just basically sit on the screen, go back to the PC, open up Fozilla FTP client, and then basically just wait for our, um, you know, basically wait for our file to transfer over once we get it done. So that's what I'm doing here, going back onto the PC. Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the actual PC itself. What you need to do is go ahead and use any FTB client of your choice. If you're going to be following along on what I'm doing for today, you can use anything like files of the FTB client or one SCP, for example. So all I'm got to do is just open up files of the FTB client. Of course, I'll have this in the link in the description down below where it says host. All you got to do is type in your PlayStation 3's IP address. If you guys don't know where it is, I will have a picture on the screen just so we can be on the same page. Yours will be different than mine but at least you know the general location on where to find yours at and then all you would have to do since mine's is you know 1.1.1.2 i say quick connect and then i'm just waiting for it to get basically give me the welcome message uh it may take a little while for filezilla uh but once you have all your folders are basically showing up onto your device all we got to do is go to dev underscore zero 
let me make this big screen for a second and what you should already have is a folder called ps2 isos if you don't already have a P uh, folder called ps2 isos all you have to do is right click uh, create a directory and just label it as ps2 iso and then hit ok it's already I already had a directory here and you can clearly see I already put you know mad PlayStation 2 games into this directory but what we're gonna do is from here just leave this right here on the screen we're gonna go to our test folder or wherever you basically saved your new patch game at with the cheats and just drag it and drop it to PlayStation 2 ISO now the reason why mines is going pretty fast is not because I have super uh, fast internet. I basically am doing this over a direct FTP connection via with a ethernet cable. If you guys want to know on how to set that up uh, as well for this process, just so you can have a faster transfer speed, I will have a little card right now uh, that will pop up on the screen and you guys could check that video out um, probably before doing this step. And then so you guys could have, you know, a faster file transfer rate because if you try to do this over a wireless connection unless you got super fast internet um it can take a while if your game is larger than like i said four gigabytes but what i'm going to do now is come back in like five to four minutes or so wait for it to fully transfer over and then what we're going to do is go to our um playstation 3 again i'm gonna show you that the game runs just fine and loads up perfectly and then we're gonna go ahead and get started on you know playing our game as a you know on how to basically set up cheats for our playstation 2 title of choice so i'll meet you guys back for that Alrighty guys, so as of right now, all of my files successfully transferred over, or well, just one file in this case, which is Kingdom Hearts 2. If I go into my PS2 ISO directory, and you can see right here, the date, which is the same date I'm recording, you can see that Kingdom Hearts 2 is now into the correct directory, and you can see the actual file size of this image. So what I'm gonna do now is go back to my PlayStation 3 and showcase on the next steps of what we need to do to get our game set up. Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the actual PlayStation 3. My file has successfully now transferred over. What I'm gonna do now is go into games, refresh my database real quick, and then I'm gonna go and scroll till I find my Kingdom Hearts 2 game. So as showcased here, this is the same Kingdom Hearts 2 game that we are basically trying to patch with cheats. If I go and hit triangle over it via within a file manager, or in, excuse me, multi-man and go into file manager slash multi-man operating system, let me close out all these folders but you can see here that i have uh, my kingdom hearts 2 game into this directory right here so as of right now what we're going to do is hit r1 back into the actual xmb for uh multi-man and we're just going to go and launch the game by hitting x and then i'll meet you guys back onto the xmb Alrighty guys, so this is the screen you should see once you're on your PlayStation 3 and this is how your game should be formatted once you applied your cheats. You should get this you launch elf type of screen. So if you ever soft modded your PlayStation 2, um, this launch elf uh, basically will look very familiar to you or this homebrew application. But what we're going to do is go ahead and use our d-pad to select so within this the way how to select is like a japanese game so circle is basically x and x is to cancel and you can see that right there in the left hand bottom of the screen but what we're going to do is go into file manager what we're going to do next is go into cdfs and now you should see um, all of these files right here and this is basically all of your uh, files that is contained into your game so this is basically Kingdom Hearts 2 the first file what we're gonna do is go into codebreaker1.elf and launch it so where it's basically highlighted over go ahead and hit ok it's gonna launch codebreaker and this is how we're gonna be applying our cheats to our PlayStation 2 title so I'm just waiting for it to boot up so you can see here that it's loading perfectly fine like if you were using codebreaker for like uh you know the playstation 2 back in the day and you can see here that you get the main menu what we're going to do is go into select cheats and you hit x over that and you can see that it has a ton of PlayStation 2 games. So it's not just, you know, for certain titles. It does support a lot of uh, titles here. But since we're doing Kingdom Hearts 2, we're just going to be focusing on Kingdom Hearts 2 cheats. So I'm just scrolling down the list until I find Kingdom Hearts 2. So here's Kingdom Hearts 2. 
all you have to do is to go ahead and to turn all cheats you just have to hit x and then if you wanted to uh basically go into the cheats i believe you want to hit start onto the thing or excuse me go to select cheats again and then what you want to do is right yeah hit right on your d-pad to look at the cheats if you want to you know disable them or enable them so as of right now i have all cheats on so i have max hp level 99 max magic uh you know basically all the cheats i could have in kingdom hearts 2. once you're done as it states on the screen press start after selecting the cheat so that's what i'm doing here and then all you need to do and to start game just go ahead and scroll over to this option hit x and then it will ask you to insert the game just hit x again since you're not using a actual disc for this process and then it will boot you back into launch elf menu now what you want to do is hit circle in the file browser go into cdfs one more time and then you want to go ahead and find where your content id of your game is so in my case is slus this is how we're going to launch the actual title of our game which is kingdom hearts 2 and then you'll see on the screen uh, me launching Kingdom Hearts 2. What I may have to do since I know Square Enix, uh, you know, has a issue for this problem or basically, uh, you know, playing copyrighted music, I may have to cut out sound. So you may not hear, you know, the sound in this game. But what I'm going to do is show you that the cheats are working. And there is actually one step I did forget, which dawned on me, which I'll show you guys after this process on how to set up memory cards on your PlayStation 2 or basically your PS3 as well. So let's go ahead and create a new game. I'm just going to go into standard mode. And you could clearly see, uh, you know, I have no progress in this game. I don't even have my memory card set up, which I have to show you guys later on. But um, let me skip this scene real quick. And skip scene and let me skip scene okay or get to the main point so as you've seen here you could clearly tell by roxas's uh you know health bar he ain't dying literally the health bar is running off the screen but yeah so that's how you know right off the back that your cheats you know fully work just fine but yeah essentially this is how you you know enable cheats on a playstation 2 patched iso with code breaker if you guys did enjoyed this section of the video what i'm going to do now is show you guys on how to set up a ps2 memory card on your ps3 and then we're going to be you know ending this from here so let me go ahead and cut off the video and show you guys on how to do that Alrighty, so last but not least, before we end this full tutorial for today, one last thing I want to teach you guys on how to set up a memory card for this process. So let's say you're doing multiple games and you want to have cheats in all your games, but you want to also save your data. What you want to do is go into memory card utility, go into create a new internal memory card, internal memory card for PS2. You can name it anything you want. I'm just going to name mine this, just a default name. And then you could either set that as memory card one or two. So as showcased here, I already had one here, but you have to assign a slot. So this is slot one for my memory card. And then this is slot two. So imagine if you had a PlayStation uh, two in real life, this will basically be a virtual or a real actual memory card in slot one. And this will be in slot two, which I do recommend having both memory cards into two slots. Since um, if you're playing a lot of PS2 games, it can, you know, have a lot of uh, save data. But yeah, that's essentially on how to set up save data for this process as well. I should have put this earlier into the guide, but at least I did, you know, shoved it into, you know, the segment. But with that being all out the way, hopefully I did teach you guys on how to, you know, utilize code break for the playstation 3 but with that being said my name is nagato's friends and i'll see you guys next time the next video i think i'm going to be talking about is a playstation 4 topic so i'm excited about that but with that being said be safe and i'll see you guys next time peace Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace
Silky Smooth.